Looking to find the best gaming setup as a beginner audio enthusiast? Don't know quite where to begin? Well, breathe a sigh of relief because I'm here to help. By the end of this video, you should have a great idea of some fantastic audio setups to get started with right away. And we'll also compare a couple of popular mic options in case you feel like screaming obscenities at people when you inevitably die and get mad. <laughs> Man, you f***ing idiot! That kill cam didn't even show what actually happened! Right? It was like a millisecond slow wah, wah. <laughs> Greetings mate, Stuart Charles here, homestudiobasics.com, helping you make sound decisions, leading to a beautiful audio experience that will make you fall in love with music all over again. So, let's talk about the best gaming setup for beginners, shall we? All these setups can be used with your console or your PC, so don't freak out. Also, check my top five best headphones for gaming under $100. So, without further ado, what will you need here? Setup number one, Philips SHP 9500, Creative Sound Blaster XG6, and the Vmoda Boom Pro or Mod Mic. Total spent, roughly $255 to $275. Keep in mind, you don't necessarily need a G6 or a mic. I started out by simply plugging my 9500 into my PS4 controller and was satisfied for quite a while. This also applies to PC gaming. You don't need an amp DAC with a 9500 because of its high sensitivity and low impedance. It's also a very efficient headphone on its own, but you will probably want some sort of amp DAC in the future because, well, who doesn't like venturing down the audiophile rabbit hole? Speaking of, let's talk about the setup in question. The 9500 plus G6 plus Boom Pro is a perfect overall setup for the long term for most people. The 9500 is a well-built, comfortable headphone providing a crisp, open sound with fantastic width and depth to the image and an excellent soundstage for such a cheap model. Just replace the detachable stock cable with the Boom Pro and you're ready to go. The Boom Pro comes with a 3.5mm female to dual male. Plug one end into the left side of the G6 for your audio and the other into the mic jack on the right side. Remember, they are not interchangeable, so just make sure they're in the correct positions or you won't hear anything. There are indicators on both jacks informing you which is which, so don't fret. After you plug them in, adjust your audio first, then press and hold the volume pot to enter mic mode, which is red, making sure that its volume is also high enough for playback and recording purposes. This can be a little tricky at first because the G6's volume knob turns infinitely. Still, it's fairly straightforward and you should only have to tweak it maybe once or twice to get your voice recording loud enough. With the mod mic, it's especially important to make sure the volume is turned up. You can also adjust the settings inside your console's dashboard as well. Now you're ready to slay some baddies! The Boom Pro sounds amazing for its price and provides astonishing clarity and cleanliness for such a cheap product. I was simply flabbergasted at how good it sounded. The mod mic is also a great option, but I found the quality of the sound to be better out of the Boom Pro. What's great about the Boom Pro is that it does sound better and is easier to hook up to any headphone with a 3.5mm detachable cable. The downside is that not every headphone provides this. What's great about the mod mic is that it can be used with any headphone because it doesn't rely on a 3.5mm jack to function. It also has a better overall package and there is more value present. The downside is that it's a bit more cumbersome to set up and doesn't quite sound as good as the Boom Pro, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Kill smiling K. Okay. <laughs> oh. She looks like she's over there. Well, let's take a gander. See what we can see. There's bound to be some baddies in here. We'll go kill Smiling Kate again. Um, as you can see here, with the boom mic instead of the mod mic, we'll see uh, what it sounds like. Setup number two, an upgrade. If you would like an upgrade, just swap out the 9500 for something like a Hyphaman Deva or anything with a detachable 3.5mm jack that's suitable for gaming. I was personally using the Deva in the above demo and really love the sound. It's a Bluetooth headphone that comes with the Blue Mini for pairing, which also doubles as the amp deck that can be used with a wire, plus it's perfect for gaming. What more could you ask for? The Deva, coupled with a Boom Pro and the Creative Sound Blaster XG6 is perhaps the best overall package in audio. Why? Glad you asked. The G6 can be used for gaming and film, but also works phenomenally well on your desktop through Spotify, Tidal, or whatever you use to listen to music with. What's more, simply download the Sound Blaster Connect app and you've got a highly customizable, built-in EQ profile just in case you want to go all Metal 571 with your headphones. It's truly one of the most versatile pieces of equipment I've ever used. 
I game with it, I watch movies with it, I listen to music with it, I can EQ with it. It's got a gain switch and an incredible amount of power. It's easy to transport from my living room to my studio and vice versa. It's got scout mode which really opens up the soundstage and directional cues for competitive gaming and it just sounds fantastic. Out of the 8 amp DACs currently that I have on my desk, the G6 most certainly gets the most use. Setup number 3. AKG K702 or K612 coupled with a Creative Sound Blaster XG6 and a V-Moda Boom Pro and adapter or the Antlion Audio Mod Mic. All of the above applies here as well except you will need an adapter for the Boom Pro should you decide on the K702. Simply unplug the stock cable, plug the adapter into the K702 and then plug the Boom Mic into the adapter. With the Antlion Mod Mic, again you will not need an adapter here. With the K612, you must use a mod mic as the cable is not detachable. I included this option because out of all the headphones I've used for gaming and film, I keep going back to the K612 time and again because of how incredibly natural and open it sounds. Check the link below for the K702 adapter as well as all links to these products and articles should you decide to purchase. I do get a kickback for these links depending on where you live, so your continued support of the blog and channel is much appreciated. Well, that's about it for today, guys. Leave me some love down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. If you like what I do here and you want to support the channel in a more personal way, hit that Patreon yeah. link down below and consider donating to the cause. Yeah. And last but not yeah. least, Check. don't forget to ask me about my grandchildren. Yeah. Don't feed the troll. Yeah. And most importantly, don't ever give up. For all the fake rappers yeah. out there. Check. Uh -huh. Check. Yeah. Smokey Robinson, one time, yeah. Yeah. old school man. Check. Esoteric Eric, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's that? Check it. Check, check, check. Who is check. it? Yeah. 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 It's Stu Black, here I am with the review once, once again sure. By this point you gotta know I'm deadly with the pen Woo. You wanna battle me? Shit, I'll gladly take the win You whip a caddy, but it's wrecked I'm rolling fatties and I'm spent Call me Lassie, I'm legit I save the day, but I'm no fever pitch I'm kinda sick, I spit retarded I'm autistic and it fits I'm like a kid on Christmas morning It's a cinch, you overthinking it again I'm dropping with some in a pinch I know you listening to this Cause I be ripping it to bits I get the gavin, I'm on my sh** I'm popping red pills and I'm rich I'll make you quiver with my lips I'll make you shiver with my my standards it's a hit like Sinatra in the mob I come equipped a little bit like Tech 9 I keep it lit a fire sign I'm dangerous out of control I majored in I play to win do me a favor and just quit Oh jeez I'm getting hit from all angles Don't you die on me! Oh! Four in a row. <laughs> Who wants some more? Five in a row. Six. Disappearing out, huh? Yeah. Right, yo. Yeah. Where are you going, mate? Well, that was quite a firefight there. Don't you die on me. You turn up, you're dead. Take whatever you can. I'll keep watch. I think that's about all she wrote.